Hello, Knowing Squad. Get ready to tantalize your taste buds with not one, but two incredible aphrodisiac charcuterie boards. I've carefully curated a selection of delectable fruits, desserts, and main course mini meals to set the stage for a romantic and indulgent experience. And of course, no celebration would be complete without an array of refreshing and invigorating beverages, including fresh coconut water, ginger cayenne maca shots, and a tantalizing tribulus ginkgo biloba tea. Join me as I share the secrets to creating an unforgettable and seductive culinary adventure for you and your loved ones. Our lovely charcuterie board starts with baking the squash right into the oven until crispy brown. And then here we have a whole lot of ginger ready to be put into the mixer with hot water. Well, whoops, that wasn't <laughs> the best pour, but now we mix it all up and voila. Time to strain it into that golden, healthyful liquid. Don't you worry, I have something in mind for the ginger pulp, which you just have to stay tuned for my cookie recipe. And now we're adding golden honey into the golden liquid with some lime juice, probably from three limes. Finally, adding in my cayenne pepper. Mix that very well. And some black pepper with red black pepper. Now, to not forget, I also mixed in black maca. Here, we move on to our cookies. Banana, kefir, coconut sugar, ooh, and some Ceylon cinnamon goes right into the mix. Now, we have many cups of almond flour with our mixture ready to go for our beautiful ginger cookies. Now let's not forget that ginger pulp. Add some soda and vinegar. Mix that all up and start to shape your beautiful cookies. Now here I'm carving out my butternut squash into the part that I desired for this aphrodisiac dinner. Now it's time for the grilling of the veggies, asparagus, nopal cactus, chayote, and onion. Now stuff that squash baby with those beautiful veggies. We are now on to carving the bell peppers. I first sliced the bottom of them so they could be firmly set to the board without shaking whatsoever. Now is time to cut a circle on the top so we can stuff those peppers, baby.
And now comes time for the stuffing with the leftover squash. We will empty it and mash it up just like potato puree. We squeeze in some lime, we add some black pepper, cayenne pepper, and finally the veggies, mix it all in. Isn't that amazing? Now it's time for the stuffing. Isn't that exciting? Wow, <laughs> it really turned out better than I thought. Now we finally can stuff our red peppers with this amazing mixture. Very flavorful, by the way. Mm -hmm. If you were wondering what fish roe looks like, well that is it and that is how I cooked it. I put it right into my cast iron pan with some oregano on top, some cumin spice, also I added on paprika. Right after, I salted up the fish and added some black pepper with red black pepper. And it was frying in avocado oil. And when I got the chance, I added in some garlic without the stem in the middle, of course, to not irritate our stomachs. Finally, it has come the time where I carve hearts into the red bell peppers and also the mango, which I will top onto my guacamole later. minutes of banging later I finally got my coconut water Time to prep our fruits for the charcuterie board. I am peeling a mango, some nectarines, pomegranate, star fruit, and watermelon.
Our magical tea has tribulus, hibiscus, ginkgo biloba, cloves, star anise. Wow, what a combination. Now it's time to arrange our beautiful charcuterie board. This one is specifically the dessert charcuterie board. Now I'm adding on the amazing ginger cookies with the cracked coconut that I had and some gold chocolate you guys 24 karat vegan gold chocolate I made it from scratch with the truffles that are from dates prunes and peanut butter with chocolate what an amazing combination I cannot describe to you how soft this chocolate is and also you could check out my other videos to see how i prepared the 24 karat gold chocolate because i'm telling you it's something not to be missed now i'm adding on the brazil nuts hazelnut nuts i'm arranging the mango right on top of the watermelon adding figs because these are definitely aphrodisiacs and where can we go without the pomegranate and also I'm adding some star fruit, nectarines, oh my gosh. And then I found some bananas, so I was like, those are definitely worth to be in the charcuterie board. And it is definitely an aphrodisiac. And now I'm just sprinkling some cranberries. Ooh, and drizzling honey on top of the ginger cookies, you guys. And these ginger cookies were made with bananas and kefir. So you could imagine the taste. It was just delightful. The perfect, perfect combination. Thank you. 
actually. Oh my god, give me a second. Right. Okay, okay, okay. So we have a, an assortment of things. First of all, we have this squash with the grilled vegetables that I grilled separately with asparagus, chayote, nopal, and onion. And then I mix that with the other side of uh, the squash. So I mixed it all with some lime and added it into a shape of a heart that everyone can guess on their own. Hold on, I have a hair in my face. Okay. And then over here, we have... Why is this in my face? Okay. Over here, <laughs> we have a bed of microgreens with a mahi-mahi fish roe which is the eggs of the fish. Very, very, very beneficial. And inside of these peppers right here, beautiful little peppers, we have this stuffing inside. What's and this stuffing? The stuffing is the same as this stuffing mm. right here. So this is our guacamole with heart-shaped peppers and heart-shaped mango. Oh, sweet. Mm -hmm. And then over here for dessert, we will get to the dessert in a moment. Let's start eating this plate. And then the first thing that we should do right now is take a shot. And not only take a shot, but I was banging that coconut for at least 15 minutes to get just this much water out of it. You had so, a coconut that you were banging? That's what I was banging, if you're wondering where the banging was coming from, it was bang. the coconut. Well, I'm telling you, they saw it and I banged for at least 10 minutes. Coconut is an aphrodisiac, so let's start our aphrodisiac journey tonight. That's some fresh coconut water. Now, let's have our shots that has ginger, chili, lime, honey, and black maca. Again, aphrodisiac. We should have said salut. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Salut. <clears throat> I'm gonna have another sip of this coconut. Do you want another sip? Nope. Let's cut this. Let's cut this together and see what's yes. inside. Bad boy up. Let's see what is inside. right into a red pepper which is just a beautiful bite actually I'm going to serve you this bite right now I'm going to serve you this bite now since the first one was a fit okay and now I'm going to have a little bite Woo! the red bell pepper actually is sweet slightly sour because I did add lime mm -hmm. okay now Let's try the fish roe. You, you eat that first. Okay. It literally tastes like 
tastes like fish. There's nothing different from the actual fish pig. It's all on top of you because there's a big Mmm, I took a little bite. It doesn't exactly taste like it. I could have this. No, mm -hmm. I'm assessing it. Mmm. Could have it with some microgreens. Microgreens are electrically charged. You can do that. Mm. I love one. You can also feed me this watermelon right here. But, we're going to finish with. Oh, yeah, let's go to that. This. So, here we have some veggies. I'll have some. Really good. The outside skin is hard to chew through, but like the inside. Oh, I didn't mean to give it to you. Mmm. I didn't mean to. Oh, yeah, guys. A little bit of the guacamole. And by the way, guys, we're eating a lot more than this. This is just a. Uh, this one could fit on screen, guys. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, you know what I'm about. Over. Also, just dropped out. Is this mm. sexy? Everything tastes sexy. Just, just so we're clear, guys. The only thing that's not sexy is the size of this bowl. I want a big. Well, we do have a big bowl in the fridge. I just transferred it to a little one. It's just for presentation, mm -hmm. but you know, I'm not a fan of little things. You know, little well, cars. We're gonna uh, eat a lot plates. more off camera, that's for oh, sure. Oh yeah. We're just doing some taste testing. And also, do you want to move on to taste the desserts? Is that even a question? Let's do this. <laughs> I'll take that away. What? I want it all in front of me, girl. What is going on here? Okay. Do they see you right? No, I look blurry, like a ghost. What we have right here is cream. So we have some cream. There's a ton of honey that's just dripped on the... And then we have these beautiful figs right here. Oh my god, they're too to live for. And then we have some apricots with a nice little cranberry inside. I'm gonna have an apricot. Also, you could dip your fruit in the cream with caramelized toasted sesame seeds. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. That's a mango. A watermelon smear. Oh, give me a minute. Mm -hmm. I'm not enough. Another. I have to eat too, yeah? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Mm. Mm. We're both gonna have a Brazil nut. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And a hazelnut. And some gold. Look, you can lick some gold off of me. You can lick some gold off of me. <laughs> and then we have some cookies with some honey, you guys. What kind of cookie? Ginger. Tell them what kind of cookies, guys. Ginger, banana, coconut kefir, almond flour, and a tad of soda and vinegar to make it fluffy. Perfect. And also, these mm -hmm. are aphrodisiac cookies, obviously. The sweetener I used for the cookies was coconut sugar. Everything is aphrodisiac here at this charcuterie board. We're gonna have some coconut after, and let's have some figs climbing there. Mm. Oh, I'm gonna feed you a <laughs> fig. Yeah, you guys do that. Yeah. Now I already had a fig. So let me feed it to you. You haven't had one fed to you. I have uh, this one fed to me and dip it in the cream. Oh. You're gonna eat it? No, it's gonna. I haven't tried the cream yet. Oh, guys, I'm getting another fig because, like. Mmm. That's a prune. Oh. No, no, eat it. It's a prune, you sure? Yes, it's a prune. So I used prunes, peanut butter, dates, and chocolate mm. to make this truffle, you guys. 
We'll be right back. <laughs> we'll be right back. They'll be kicking in on that. They'll be kicking in. Oh yeah, they'll be in there. So let's have some more coconut. Oh, you have some of that. Let me have some of that, that, that other thing that you have on the side that you haven't even shown them yet. Okay, so you're gonna have to slide this away. Whoa, what? what? what slide more? this away? No. I just want to present the drinks without being fully... Oh, mm -hmm. oh you're having another... Uh... Oh, that's a, that's a fig. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll have one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're feeling it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And actually, I want fig with a little bit of um, cracker. Cookie. Cookie. Mm. There's like a sponginess to it. It's spongy. Mm. Oh, guys. You guys are missing out. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is good. Oh, this is true. Mm -hmm. Oh. So this tea, oh my god. This tea has tribulus, which looks like thorns. They are thorns. And then I put ginkgo biloba, star anise, and cloves. All of them are aphrodisiacs. All of them on the table, right there. And I added some honey and lime, which honey is definitely an aphrodisiac. <clears throat> now, for those at home, you know why watermelon is such a good aphrodisiac? You tell it's me. It's high in citrine. Mm. That's good for your blood flow. You know what I mean. And also, I put some bananas. Which not only did I put fresh ban fresh bananas on the charcuterie board, but also I added bananas in the cookies because we need more of that potassium. Did you try the tea? I'm about. To. second of you watching this video please like comment share subscribe and as always happy knowing
call for follow-ups. Here we go. One second, you gotta part two. Guys five stars. Oh, honey, give me one We're second. gonna do part two. Until he gives his five stars, I'm going to read some aphrodisiacs. Hmm. Where did I send it? Okay, so fish eggs. Hmm. Fish eggs, the unknown facts and incredible health benefits of fish eggs. Also known as caviar or roe, are usually considered an exotic luxury in the United States, but that may be changing as more people develop a taste for salmon roe, often such as sushi restaurants. Fish eggs are rich in omega-3 fatty acids, but they also have a lot of cholesterol and are often cured with salt, meaning they are high in sodium, which is not the case here because we got it fresh and raw. What do you see here? We see a crooked... I don't need that. It's crooked, you guys, but honestly, I opened the bottle on the, on that, the gold party. Okay, so. well, let's see, how, let's see what you got. Okay. Let's be careful with that thing. You guys, just like thinking I can't do this. Of course I could do this. Go get a glass. Kind of like the one that's in the coconut. Kind of like the one that's in the coconut. Okay. So easy. Last time we drank Don, not Don Simon, Don Luis. The cork was super messed up. So bring on the glasses. I was gonna say that red wine has a lot of resveratrol, which is anti-aging, and there is resveratrol in what else, baby? Grapes. Pumpkin seeds and something else. But onto the fish eggs, they are, you know, like caviar. And this one came from Mahi Mahi or Dorado. Has a lot of B12. And what else? The health benefits improves brain health. Improves vision, controls high blood pressure, boosts heart health, prevents a breast cancer, boosts immunity, healthy bones and teeth. Uh, yeah, so that's super healthy. And I was going to read what are the 40 top aphrodisiacs. Hmm, there we go. I've been, se I've been sending these uh, to my baby. So while he's getting the glasses ready, I'm going to read the list of aphrodisiacs. So star anise, we have it in our lovely, lovely red tea right here. We have the star anise right there. Arugula, we sadly don't have arugula, but we have microgreens. Basil, we already have basil. Chili, we have it all over. Garlic, it was in the fish. Ginger, we got the shots. Ginseng, I actually have it, didn't add it to the tea, but I added ginkgo biloba. Saffron, honey, we forgot saffron. I should have sprinkled saffron. We do have saffron. I will put some saffron in the wine. Hmm, let me not no, forget. No, 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 no. You but, touch my wine. Well, in my wine. Uh, vanilla extract, I put it already in the tea. Artichoke, we don't have that. Asparagus, we definitely had that today. They said beets, celery, okra. Yeah, that's okra. I forgot to put it in the menu today. Pumpkin, we got it all over the board. Radish, I skipped on it because... Why? Why are you pointing at me for? I said I skipped on the radish because... Oh! The mic. Oh, because it is. 
So I skipped on the radish because... Because radish is trash. Okay. <laughs> okay, truffles. Ooh, we have truffle oil. We could put truffle oil around. See, I guys, I should have went through this list. Anyway, apples next. I didn't want apples because I'm like, that's so boring. We're in Mexico. We have way more exotic fruits than apples. Guys. Oh, avocados. Here we have the guacamole. Banana. We have some banana, not only fresh banana, but in the cookies. What else? Cherries. We didn't have cherries, but I had cranberries. Cucumber. So we had chayote instead of cucumber. Figs. We had candied figs. Pomegranate all over the board. Raspberry. We'll have it in a smoothie later. Strawberry. He doesn't like strawberry. Watermelon. We definitely checked in on that. Oh, honey. But something's definitely working out of this board. Take a pause. Alright guys, look at that. You should take a pause at this moment, like that. Alright, we came back. Give me the plate. I'll give you the plate. Mm. Take that plate. Oh, my goodness. You need more of that tea and that wine, I'll be fine. I know, right? Can we? Oh! Alright, we're just gonna move this here. Yeah. I need some more watermelon. Okay. Mmm. More watermelon. Mm. Gotta have a lot more watermelon. Cucumber mm -hmm. water and water. Mm -hmm. So I'm pairing the fish with red bell pepper and asparagus and stuff. Mm -hmm. This whole time, I mean, it's freaking me out. Because the fish is in. Mm. Oh my god. Okay. I'm gonna have another bite of this. Ooh, okay. You know what? Mr. I, do, I don't like the fish eggs. Here we go. Mm. Fatty acids in my body. Yes. Better not squash B vitamins as well. Avocado. Mm. 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 I'll catch you in another video. Catch you another video! You got a little crunchy right here. If I were crunchy, look at this. I 
Oh. I'm gonna tap you in the boat with some dirty things. I have a bad angle for tapping you on it.